Hi guys, Dan Picard here with Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal, and what we have today is a broadhead test that's probably never been done before to go with my broadhead review in EBJ 96. This review has been about three years in the making. I've hunted all across the West and Hawaii with four blade broadheads, testing different hunting scenarios on different size animals, and have got a variety of results. We also did some testing with the lab radar, and what that is, is a chronograph using Doppler radar to track the velocity and kinetic energy of an arrow from when it leaves the bow all the way down range till it hits the target. So some really cool things we're doing here. An EBJ 96 in the backcountry issue. Be sure to check out my full broadhead review on a dozen different four blade broadheads. It's exciting, it's groundbreaking, and this Doppler radar testing has never been done before. We're gonna have a little fun today. So we're gonna be shooting these broadheads into some big bones from uh, some cow bones and just test the durability and the performance of these broadheads. First broadhead we're gonna shoot is the Muzzy Trokar HBX. It's a hybrid, fixed and expandable. We're gonna shoot it into a cow femur at about 12 yards. So the first hit was a glancing blow right off the joint. I mean, that's hard bone right there. It looks like it's in perfect shape still. You know, it spins good too. Beef scapula, Grim Reaper Carnivore, here we go. Zinged right through. So it looks like uh, the scapula did stop it. It's stuck on the fletches. It actually hit in more of the thicker part of the scapula. It looks like we lost a blade on one of the expandable blades here. It's a smaller blade. We have some bending down here at the, the collar. So this is the grave digger. I've shot a lot of elk with this broadhead. Let's see what it does. <laughs> Arrow blew up. Looks like we got the bottom part. So I think what we had happen was a pass through the scapula and then it we got a glancing blow off the femur right here. See it took a big chunk out of the bone. Stuck into the backstop. It's actually in really good shape still. One slight blemish on the one expandable blade. But the trocar part looks really good actually. So it's a little bent, which is kind of to be expected. This is really hard bone. Took a gouge out, but didn't stick in. So we have the Viper Trick here by Slick Trick. I love the cut on contact, replaceable blade design. Hopefully I can get a nice square hit and I won't get a deflection. I'll get some true penetration results here. Perfect. Right into the joint of the femur. Oh. So we got a crack, oh my gosh. So we passed through the actual hip joint of a cow and broke the joint. Blades are obviously roughed up a little bit, but good grief, I could probably shoot an animal with that again. That's in really good shape. I can't believe that actually broke. <laughs> it broke that hip joint on this cow. Granted, we're at about 12 yards. So this is a Wacom Exit 4 blade with a cut on contact design. So let's see what happens. Oh, it bounced out. Whoa. So right into the foreleg. Oh, it broke the arrow too. Holy moly. Look at that. Snapped the arrow off at the base right into the joint. The carbon splinter here. It's loop. There it is. Jiminy Christmas. Look at that. Bent the blade, bent the insert, and the leading edge, the bone splitting cut on contact design definitely stayed intact, but the ferrule is bent. And we have a bent blade, but that went right into the joint of this beef bone and blew up the arrow. Holy smokes. That shows you how dense these bones are. 
So this is the Trophy Taker ATAC. This is a little more expensive broadhead. Oh, it bounced right out too. That's like harder than concrete. Wow. So my actual insert broke. It's an aluminum insert, so it wasn't part of the arrow. Arrow just bounced right out and launched my knock out of it. And it knocked the bone off forward. Look at that. Right in the sweet spot. I don't think I'm gonna get that out. I'm gonna have to cut it out later. Examine it when we get it out later. Unreal. So we have the Wasp Boss 4 blade. Troke style tip, it's all stainless steel. Uh, we got an aluminum pearl in there. Perfect, right in the flat, didn't break off. Right on that nice 90 degree slope of the bone. Holy moly. Oh, it curled one of the blades, it curled two of the blades all the way around. So this is smack dab in the middle of a foreleg. It's a nice flat surface. And it curled this blade over. I don't even know if I can get it out without breaking the arrow. So you can see on the back of this, it cracked the whole foreleg bone and you can see just the tip of that Boss 4. Looks like it rounded the tip a little bit, but it broke that bone. We have the Slick Trick. This has been around a long time. I shot it when it first came out, somewhere around 04 or 2005. It's been a good performer, so let's see how it does on this big old thick cow foreleg here. Right, dead center, it looks like it's stuck in. Arrow didn't blow up. Kind of spun the bone around. Oh wow, penetration is way in there. I can't even see the broadhead. You can see the tip sticking through right here. It's kind of loose, I bet I can wiggle it out of there, but really good penetration for this foreleg. Well, we shot a variety of broadheads today and a variety of different bone thicknesses. And you can see through the scapulas, we punched some nice holes in the foreleg here. We had a lot of broadheads that stuck in. We had a chance to dig out these three broadheads out of that beef cow foreleg. And uh, we have some varied results, so let's take a look. The Wasp Boss foreblade here, you can see two of the blades curled up. And what happened is, where the curled blades hit, the bone didn't break. And then on a horizontal plane, where these blades stayed straight, the bone actually split. So that impact from this arrow split that foreleg. You can see the tip is just a little dinged, but other than that, it's straight. The furrow looks good. You know, it's not, not in terrible shape. The ATAC, you can see it held together really well, that initial bone splitting piece of steel. And you have the main insertable blade which was compromised a little bit. Look down on this leading edge here, where it's really thin. It's really sharp, but it's really thin. And it kind of divoted that out and it broke off the tip on the one side. So some pretty cool results we're getting here on that cow foreleg. Really dense bone, some of the toughest material that you're ever gonna shoot a broadhead into, but it, it held together fairly well. Lastly, we have the Slick Trick Standard, the one-piece steel design actually did phenomenal. This ferrule's still perfectly straight. It spun really well. And look at that point, it's still nice and sharp. So that was pretty cool to see that. One of the blades was bent and actually broke on the back end. The rest of the blades were bent slightly, but those thick blades are pretty, pretty tough. The Slick Trick Standard held up really well. Hopefully this gave you an idea of what we did in this broadhead review in EBJ96. Be sure to get your issue and we'll see you next time right here from Eastman's Gear Lab. Kind of sloppy. Extra sloppy. You're scaring us, lady. Name that movie. Uh, oh, oh, Billy Madison. Yes, yes.